A lot of you seem to want to know what I do with all my chemical waste, so today I'm going to show you how to recover pure zinc metal using electrolysis. Here I've got a tube of fairly impure zinc hydroxide, which was a waste product from my synthesis of dichloromethane. I start by dissolving the zinc hydroxide powder in a 10 molar solution of sodium hydroxide. In retrospect, it would have been a lot easier to do this the other way around by dissolving my zinc hydroxide in a fixed quantity of sodium hydroxide. Regardless, the product of this reaction is the soluble salt sodium zincate, which I then pass through vacuum filtration to purify. This results in a fairly clear solution, and to get the zinc out of it, I'm going to do what's called alkaline electrolysis. The main advantage of an alkaline electrolysis is that you don't need an inert electrode like carbon or platinum. The main disadvantage is that it only works with non-alkali metals that will dissolve in hydroxide such as zinc, tin, or aluminum. In any case, the next step is to submerge a nickel cathode and a copper anode in my zincate solution and connect them to a DC power supply. I turn the voltage up as high as it will go and then slowly increase the current until hydrogen gas bubbles begin forming on the cathode. At this point, a thin layer of zinc will plate to the copper as it's reduced from the sodium zincate. This happens because the flow of electricity facilitates the loss of electrons or the reduction of the zincate ion to elemental zinc. These extra electrons are provided by the water that's being split apart into hydroxide ions and hydrogen gas at the cathode. With that in mind, since the electrode itself doesn't really play a part in the reaction and alkaline solutions aren't that corrosive, you can kind of use whatever you want for electrodes, and I only used copper for better contrast. Anyway, I let this run for a while, and after about 30 minutes, my anode is completely covered in these beautiful, chemically pure zinc crystals. At this point, the reaction is slowed down to a crawl, so I scrape my zinc crystals onto a watch glass and then put my copper anode back to continue the reaction. This is repeated until no more zinc crystallizes out of solution, and at this point, the reaction is basically done. The waste hydroxide can be disposed of by diluting with a large excess of water and then dumping down the drain. This is fine because sodium hydroxide is routinely used to unclog drains. As a final processing step for my pure zinc metal, I want to wash it thoroughly in distilled water to remove all of the excess sodium hydroxide. I do this in a Buchner funnel under vacuum filtration because it's faster, but you could kind of do this however you want. The final clean zinc powder is dried under vacuum desiccation for about a day, and then I store it to use in the future. And yeah, so this is just one of the many ways that I recycle my chemical waste. I hope you found this interesting. If you'd like to see more of these recycling videos, consider leaving a comment, and give me a follow.